Well, hello folks, this is Sam Owens, and uh, I'm going to let you see uh, what I captured with my light bulb camera pointed uh, up in the sky at about a, a 35 degree angle, uh, catching above the horizon and the house behind me. And right here you see at 558, almost uh, 59, uh, on the 18th of November I've been tracking this is uh, Venus right here it started up here uh, an hour or two ago and just kind of has slowly moved down in this direction now I'm going to move my slider and your watch right here you're going to see a, a bright spot appear as the Sun is coming up we're about to an hour from sunrise and you're going to see Jupiter appear. Now here I'm sliding close. Look at that. Okay, right here, watch this. It's going to get brighter. And the sun is rotating over the earth. And now it's shining the light on Jupiter and Venus. This is Jupiter. It's bigger. This is Venus. Those are the two morning stars you see that are the brightest okay now i'm going to go until we'll see the next frame Oop. okay i've got to go uh i've got to change so let me go and change uh clear this out and i got to go to the next hour of my files and what i want to do is go here See, I want to go to 6 o'clock. And right there, and I'm going to put them in my player right now. Okay, now this is the next file that uh, we're going to see. Ah, right there. So let me, uh, let me get it back to the beginning. So, see, this is going to be 6 o'clock. And now, look how nice and bright. And uh, again, this is Venus and Jupiter, the big Jupiter. Okay, and now you'll see they're actually moving along this direction. Just about like this. Okay, and let's watch a couple of files of it. Okay, and here you'll see the time. And I'm going to move it. See, I'm speed watching it, so that's how I'm, look, you can see it moving down. This is what you can do when you point your camera up into, uh, into the sky and watch the planets. It's, uh, and plus I see bats and all kinds of things uh, in the sky. And notice how my slider, I'm, I'm able to really move it fast. So I can run through an hour pretty quick this way. And you can see the movement. So I thought I would uh, point this out to you that if you want to uh, watch the planets appear in the sky. Look, okay, now what that is, is uh, someone coming into our community and their headlights are shining on the trees. Okay, so I'm gonna go on up. Look at there. There's something right there. That's a bird. Okay, so if you are interested in seeing what happens early in the morning or at night, this is how you can do it. There's another car coming in. Uh, you can speed right along, see right there. There's the trees. So somebody is coming in. Okay, now look what happened uh, to uh, Venus. Has already disappeared because it's gone down. Well, actually, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's moving. Okay. Or actually, we're, the Earth is moving. Remember, the Earth is flat. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, we have, uh-oh, what do we have here? Now here is a spot. 
So let's see what that is. Okay, that is uh, tree reflections from, uh, from cars coming in. Ah, look at this. The light is starting to appear, and these are clouds. Look at that. Okay, right there. It's just starting to appear, and there's the clouds coming in. And now let's see, I'm going to go fast. And Jupiter is still visible there. Starting to blink. Okay, pretty cool. And let's see if I, how it looks in the morning. See right there, it goes behind the clouds right there and then appears. Now we're looking east or uh, west. Uh, right there, there is a bird that, that just flew by. So that's what I'm looking at, and uh, I just uh, thought you might find it interesting, and uh, you wouldn't want to sit here and try to watch this at real speed. That's why you need to grab this, and you need media player. If you get Windows media player, you can't speed like this. It will not do this. See, I can go back and forth. So you want a uh, media player, which is a Windows um, app, and it's on your Windows computer if you've got a fairly new one. Or you want to make sure the player you use allows you to do this, or you're wasting your time, uh, and it'll take you forever to see that. Oh, look at that. I think that's still it. Yes? See how big it is right there, or it's getting more light. Let's see if we can still see it. Yeah. That's Jupiter right there. Okay, so folks, you can have some fun with your camera. Uh, what I did is I stuck it up on the roof of my house, uh, upside down, and then I had to flip the... Um, picture around 180 so that was not showing upside down so this is my um, my camera my light bulb camera up on top right at the uh, rain gutter and pointed up at about a I think about a 35 degree angle up into the sky and right there I'm able to see Jupiter uh, clearly and let's see if it gets any bigger. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, let me try a couple more frames. or A couple more files. I think it's getting red. It'd be nice if I can capture it uh, a day without clouds. Okay, right here. It's starting to uh, get covered in clouds, but right there it is. So you see if you can capture uh, Venus and Jupiter in uh, the uh, western sky and point up about 35 and right about uh, 5 o'clock, uh, uh, almost to 6 o'clock in the morning right now around the 18th of uh, November, uh, you'll be able to capture this and a nice clear sky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna capture it a few more times coming up. Okay, folks, uh, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope this has um, been uh, helpful for you to see a new way of using your camera.